Audio is rolling. We'll just repeat what we just said. Yeah. <laughs> and then make sure that light is not too bright. Focus. I should... <coughs> Nice, fresh focus. All right, we are. All right, we're ready. Okay. I can start on Yep. Right. Is there a biological basis for eating disorders? Yeah, they're actually, um, the way I think about uh, how eating disorders can develop, I think about biological, psychological, and social factors that can come into play. And when we look at biological, there are some studies and research that shows that there's a genetic component to eating disorders. So for example, research has shown that a person who has a family member that struggled with an eating disorder is more likely to develop an eating disorder themselves. Eating disorders have also been shown to be connected with other co-occurring mental health concerns that have a biological basis. For example, um, depression, anxiety, substance abuse. Um, and then also it's been related to different changes in neurotransmitters in the body. So things like serotonin and dopamine um, are different within the body for someone with an eating disorder compared to those without. So there's definitely a biological component that, that can come into play for someone developing an eating disorder. Does the media cause eating disorders? Um, I, I think it kind of goes back to what I said before of there's a, a biological, psychological, and social component. And I would say media has an important role in that social context for how an eating disorder can develop. Um, especially now when there's so many different forms of social media that students engage with in a day. It, there's often many messages that a person receives around what kind of the ideal body looks like, what types of foods they like should or shouldn't be eating. Um, so I think media definitely plays an important role in influencing how people feel about their bodies, um, how they think about food um, and food intake. So I wouldn't say it's the, the causing factor or the only factor, but it definitely can play a role. Does the media cause eating disorders? Um, I, I think it kind of goes back to what I said before of there's a, a biological, psychological, and social component, and I would say media has an important role in that social context for how an eating disorder can develop, um, especially now when there's so many different forms of social media that students engage with in a day. It, there's often many messages that a person receives around what kind of the ideal body looks like, what types of foods they like should or shouldn't be eating. Um, so I think media definitely plays an important role in influencing how people feel about their bodies, um, how they think about food um, and food intake. So I wouldn't say it's the, the causing factor or the only factor, but it definitely can play a role.